Yeah. 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 Yeah.
folks and they decide that I'm cute as a button and I seem to have talent and I can sure talk. I mean, I've done nothing else. And they started to train me and put me in motion pictures. So I think the first thing that I did was Midsummer Night's Dream for Warner Brothers. I was about four years old. I was one of the little fairies. I think there's a, a theme happening here. But, <laughs> and, and then our gang comedies. And our gang comedies was very, very odd. I remember working at the Roach Studio with a bunch of kids, not knowing really what was going on, because they never told you anything. Not anything. They would say, as a matter of fact, in my book, the title of uh, Working with the Art Gang says, Our Gang and Little Rascals, What is My Motivation? <laughs> because they would say, run over there and laugh. And you go, okay. And over you would go, and you would get $8.50 a day for doing that. Wow. And so to this day, I, I really don't travel unless I have some business at the other. Uh, I was taught this money thing, and, which is okay. Mm -hmm. But I think one of the interesting things, probably unlike uh, your experience, none of us talked to each other. The children were, we knew better than to talk because each one of us was a competitor to the other. And one might slip up and say, I have an interview tomorrow. Then you would run and tell your mother, and the mother would find out where the interview was, and suddenly you were a competitor. And the mothers didn't talk much because something might slip. And so it was quite lonely. Uh, you never got to really know anybody. And I thought the most wonderful thing would be if I ever got big enough to have a script of the whole movie <laughs> to know what it was because they never told us. And the last show that I did started, I don't know, in 1933, I guess, 33 or 4. And the last one I did, I think, was 1936. I'm not sure. I don't remember, you know, kind of thing. But I went up to the director and I asked him, I said, when are you ever going to finish this film? <laughs> and he looked at me and said, what are you talking I did not know that it was a short. <laughs> to me, it was this movie that just kept going on and on. And on. <laughs> because they never told us anything. They wanted to hire kids who were four to six years old who were going on 32 <laughs> and could take direction and then shut up and go sit down. And um, it was not the happiest of times, nor was it the unhappiest of times. It was just bizarre. Now, how many actors can say you work with both the Little Rascals and the Three Stooges? Maybe James C. Morgan, the actor who always gets to to pay. Uh, <laughs> you know. But uh, you, you will work with the uh, Three Stooges when they uh, towards the end of their careers yes, in, in the cartoon series. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they, they were kind of gentler stooge, Stooges by then. Mm -hmm. They were gearing the shows towards kids, and they were. A little or less with the eye poking and the pie fights and the like, and uh, you did well, the. Well, um, what they were, they didn't want to come up with anything new. Uh, Eddie Burns was the director, and he had directed them for so many years. And what they had, we have um, bookends. You had a live opening and a live closing, and then in between, you had this animated show. And uh, the whole thing, I think, took about five minutes or something. I had very short. But that was the way that you did kids' shows at that time. And I did 279 of them. And as I say, I'm OK. <laughs> uh, and um, lovely story, the, how they really functioned. That was with uh, Joe Dorita. He was the last one who had a chip on his shoulder morning, night, and noon. I mean, it was just amazing. Mo Howard kept them in line. And Larry Fine would go around with anything. He was just darling. But the two people who really ran, the Three Stooges, were the two wives. They were just marvelous. They would come in, sit down with their knitting or whatever, and start talking to each other as if they hadn't seen each other in six months. And they would talk all day long, but they would keep an eye on what was going on. And if they were running out of time, they'd call over, Mo, it's getting late. Oh, yes, dear, and then everything would come together and get organized again. <laughs> but we were standing in front of the microphone. You start out with animation, you start out doing the voice track first. Everything is locked to the voice track, timing everything. So you 